Bobby, and um, it's obviously at times you've had a quite a lengthy injury list this season. Have you got any players returning or any fresh injury worries for this game? Yeah, so last week I already said that uh, Lewis will be an option, but this week it will be <laughs> like this, so he will be back in the squad. 30 will be not sure if he will be available, so then we have to yeah to to see the the day to day if he if he can join or not. Um, then we have to make a decision. Tariq will be will be back. He will be back in the in the squad, and um, I think the rest will will stay the same. What about Southampton home game Friday night under the lights? A chance to go second in the league. Uh, what, what are you kind of expecting from from this Southampton team? I think we just have to watch the last game against Liverpool, how they played, and um, I follow them the the whole season now, and they have a great style of play. They have a, a lot of ball possession. We have to suffer a lot against the ball because they have the ability to to outplay every opponent. They have the individual quality with Armstrong, with, with dribbling. Um, were one, very good in one against one situations. Now they added a, a target player. Let's see which striker will play. So they have different um, opportunities. They have different uh, formations. What they played in the in the season so far. And uh, for me, like I said, it's it's a challenge. Every game is a challenge. So they could easily won also against um, Liverpool. So this this league is unpredictable. This league is, is so intense, so competitive. So there's no no easy opponent in this league and um, Southampton proved it last week and um, that's a warning for for us to, to be ready for that game, to to never underestimate anyone, to to try to, to give more than 100% because you need it, especially in, in, in your pressing. You need to be very, very good at pressing. You need to have the availability to, to suffer when you're outplayed, to sprint back. When you when you lose a duel, that you're sure that the, the teammate is there to help you. So I think this will be will be crucial against them to, to work hard against the ball and to have also the right mindset because when you when you need to run a lot, it's not easy all the time, but um, it might happen against a team like Southampton with, with this ball possession and uh, then you have to be ready for that. Are you in a pretty pretty good place, pretty confident place, certainly from an attacking point of view at the moment, especially thinking the likes of Joao Pedro back after his earlier fitness problems in the season and, and Danny Welbeck having the best start to his career. Are you, are you quite confident in those attacking areas at the moment? Yeah, I think um, offensively we always have the, the availability and the, the quality, the quality to score goals because we have... We have a big squad, especially when we see our offensive players. We have different type of players. We have Evan with a target player. We have Shaw Modicibla. We have Danny, who's for me a hybrid player. We have on the wings different opportunity with with Carew, with Simon, with uh, Minte, Solimac when he come back, Kruda, Georgie. So there are a lot of opportunities, and uh, this gives us. A great selection where, where I can choose, and this gives us also competition between each other. So they they need to be ready to 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 work hard for for their place. They need to be ready to to make sure that they deserve to play. And um, at the moment, they they are proven it really good that they are able to to score in every situation of the game. And uh, that's also what we need to win games. But uh, in the end, I always judge them by how they work against the ball and how they. How they defend, how they, how their mindset is, in, in especially in defending against the ball, and that's the way I judge them. But of course, uh, in the end, I know that uh, goals and assists uh, make us win the games. I know you don't like to get too carried away with looking forward and at objectives and things like that. But when you think of Aston Villa qualifying for the Champions League last season, do you think the start to the season with these players can give them the confidence that okay? not this early in the season, you're going to qualify for Champions League, but but almost give them the belief they are capable of achieving something special this season? For me, life, in general life, it's not only football, it's so important to have a, a clear target, a vision where you want to go. Because this vision 
makes yourself like a, a promise never to give up and this vision gives you like an orientation for what you do with the work. That's the first thing. The second thing, for me, it's just a momentum where we are at the moment. It's, it's still early in the season, it's a momentum. But this momentum should give like the players a confirmation for their work. So if they work hard, if they try to improve every day, if they come to the training ground and be the best version of themselves every day, every day, and doing this consistently, not only two weeks or three weeks, doing this consistently, then they see that they can get the results. And they worked hard so far. And that's why they deserve to get these results. But now it's about continuing this this work at the continuing improving the small details because if you're honest also the last game against Bournemouth we had a little bit of game luck but we worked hard for this and we could play better we know this and we we also said this to the team that wasn't our best best uh, game in possession but you worked hard against the ball and then you deserve to to win these games and you have to keep improving, you have to keep developing this and you have to keep focus on the process, not focus on the results. If you focus now on the results and say, wow, we are, we are on, the, on the top of the, of the table, it won't work. You have to keep focusing on the process, you have to keep focusing on the performances and then long term, the results will come. And I will say it now when it's, when it's going good with the results, but I also will say it when it's negative with the results because that's my biggest belief and that's my convincement that when you think like this, when you act like this, then you get what you deserve long term. Thanks Fabian. Thanks. Hi Fabian. In terms of Carlos Belieber's red card last week, obviously you can't appeal it. Have you had any more thoughts on that? Because that was the first red you've had to a player since you've been at the club. Yeah, so what should I say to the player? He, he, he didn't do a mistake with the second yellow card because, like I said, immediately after the game, it's 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 not a second yellow card. And um, on the other side, I also reflect myself. So maybe I have to react earlier. Maybe I have to to say, all right, um, he's still a young player. We need to protect him. We need to take him out of the game to make sure that he's available for the next game. So it's also learning from. From my side, what what is very important, but in the end, it was a false decision, and false decision happen in in life. So we have to accept it, and we have to to keep going. We have to um, talk with the players, maybe how to behave in a more clever way, because in the end, the most cleverest player was uh, I think Kerkats, who who made a big thing out of it, and um, who made like. This, this foul or not a foul makes this action to a yellow card. So there we have to learn from these moments. It's also part of game management. And um, there we, we work with Carlos and um, we need to give him the right support and right advice. And then we keep going on. Earlier this week, Julio and Ciso played for the under-21s against Anderlecht. Did you watch him and what's he got to do to get back in your thinking to be back in your starting eleven in the Premier League? Yeah, I, I watched him. Um, first of all, I think it's a, a great thing when a player came by his own to, to me and asked me if he can play for the under-21 to stay in the rhythm. I think that's a, a great signal and a great thing that he he, he wants to improve and um, no matter in which team. So now he played for the under-21, but he's also a very important player for us. So, like I said... Um, they're doing good in training. They're in a good shape mentally, physically. They scored both for the for the national team, so they are in a great shape. But uh, the others are also in a great shape. So Danny's in a great shape. Joao comes back strong. George is in a in a good shape. So it's competition, and competition is part of of the business. And um, you need to make sure that you're ready when you get the chance. You need you need to make sure that you that you try to give everything in training to to not let you down to not um, get yourself in a bad phase so when there is the opportunity and I'm sure there will be an opportunity in the next weeks because we have a lot of games to make sure that you're ready for, for this opportunity In terms of Southampton they play attractive football in parts but have been kind of criticised along with the manager Russell Martin for how they play do you think he's right to continue with that playing style that he had in the championship to take into the Premier League? I think that's that's not my my topic. So uh, I think everyone or every coach has 
has his own convincements and um, his own ideas. And um, I have my ideas. Um, Russell Martin has, has his ideas. And um, I don't want to to talk about um, the ideas from other coaches. Um, I think he knows what, what he's doing. He he was very successful by, by getting in the Premier League. It's a big success. And I think it's not easy, especially when I see now the championship and I follow a little bit the championship because there were two German coaches now. Unfortunately, only only one is left. Um, but of course, I I follow it and then I see how tough the championship is and it's a great achievement to to get in a or to get promoted for the Premier League. So he, he was very successful and now he follow his ideas. So it's not to, up to me to to comment these things. If you win tomorrow night, I know you've mentioned it already, you do go up to second. If you go second and you look back at the Premier League table, does that even surprise yourself as to where you've got Brighton so far? Honestly, I don't watch at the table, so so believe it or not. Um, I try to to focus on the pros and like I said, it's a repetition, repetition from my side, but it's my, my, my truly belief that uh, we have to focus on the process. We have to keep going. We we can't watch now at the table. It's important to to see what happens in the end of the season, where we are there in in the table. And uh, it's still early in the season. And of course, it's a confirmation, like I said, for the players, and it's also confirmation for the staff. They are all into it. They buy into it. They integrate it. They they all have an impact on the success. And I think it's important also for them to see this that their hard work. Is, is leading to results and um, this confirmation is important for, for themselves but for me honestly I I only focus on the next game I only focus on the on the next day and how can we improve how can we be the best prepared team and that's what I try to, to focus on and now we have a, a big challenge against Southampton like I said they, they played a great game against Liverpool they they almost were there to to get a draw or maybe even a a victory against them and uh, this says everything so we should focus on this game and uh, then after the game we can talk about maybe where we are on the table but uh, first of all let's play this game okay. Fabian you talked about all the different options going forward the attacking options this week's been widely reported that a loan option for Evan Ferguson away from the club may be a possibility do you have any thoughts on him Julio or even loaning out players in that period in the season so I don't know from where this this information comes because I said uh, to to Evan that uh, I'm happy that he's here in in the team that uh, I'm happy how he's how he's training in which shape he is physically mentally that um, of course he's a young player and he needs game time but um, it's an uh, the great the best example is with, with Igor so no one expected Igor to play that many games in this phase of the game but. Igor always made himself sure that he's ready for the games, that when he gets the chance, that he uses it. And he was always there in training. He always trained hard and he never complained. He accepted his role. And then when he got the chance, he was there. And that's the same thing what I demand from, from the other players. So accept your role. Don't complain. You can be disappointed if you're not playing. I always, I always, I always was also disappointed when I didn't play as a player. It's, it's normal. It should be like this. But accept your role and make sure that you bring yourself in a mood that, that, and, and in a shape that when you get the chance that you're ready. And exactly that's what I de demand from, from Evan. And that's also what I said to him. And uh, I never said anything about a loan or something like this. So honestly... I, I can't co comment this 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 raw because it, it is a raw and uh, we are happy that Evan is here and I'm sure he can help us the next week. A lot of talk about the attacking options, the goals that you've been scoring. What about defensively? You mentioned Igor. One player I just wanted to ask you about was Joel Veltman. He's not the most glamorous of players, mm. but he is probably one of the most consistent performers for the club, not just this season, but previously. I think uh, one of the most underestimated players maybe in the league. Um, he knows what to do to win games. He knows how to be positioned to win personal duels. He he knows how to give the team a clear structure, a good balance, and I think that's that's crucial for 
for a team like us. Um, he brings us the right balance with his experience, um, with his age also, and uh, that's why he's so important for us at the moment, and we're happy to have him. You're unbeaten at home this season, only Arsenal, I think, are in a similar position. Um, the club have announced that they're introducing safe standing to next season. Um, I know it's quite prevalent in, in Germany. Have you got any thoughts on safe standing or whether it creates a better atmosphere or any experiences that you have had previously? First of all, it's interesting. It's also a good feeling that uh, the Premier League adapts a little bit to the, the German League. So that's something new. Uh, and all the other things, I think uh, the Bundesliga watched a little bit to the to the Premier League. But honestly, I think it's a great thing because um, I experienced like great atmospheres in in the Bundesliga and in the German stadium. It's in the in the German stadiums. It's, it's normal that some people are standing. It's especially normal with my former club and in, in San Pauli. And um, what I experienced is. I don't know if it's because they are standing or not. I can't say it, but great, great support, um, very loud support, very emotional support. I don't know if it's like because you stand and when you stand, you do more movement uh, and you you are just more active also in the game instead of just sitting and watching. Um, but maybe it's a it's a thing, and uh, it's great that that we do it. I really love it, and um, I really love also that we are open for new things. And this club shows that they're open for new things. They do things in a different way. They they like to make decisions um, like no one did before, and that's something what I what I really appreciate. And that's also my thinking, my mindset. And that's why let's see how it's going. And maybe in two three years we are sitting here and um, the whole stadium is standing. And uh, that was just a starting point. So let's see how how this uh, develops. And Southampton, Chris mentioned about their very distinctive style of play. Um, does that present a, maybe a different challenge that you've had this season? Because it is very individual, the way they invite teams to come forward and press high up the pitch. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a different style of play. It's, uh, again, a confirmation for me also that there are several coaches with uh, tactical variety, with a big knowledge of, of football and... It's again another challenge for us to to prepare for this for this match because it will be a different approach. Um, this team they have a lot of ball position. I think um, they are fourth in the table regarding ball possession, and um, there will be crucial to have a good uh, pressing pattern. It will be crucial to work good against the ball, and that we can also prove ourselves how far we are, especially in the way how ruthless we are to work against the ball and how. How how far we can go, especially also from our mindset, how big we're ready to to suffer against the ball, because in some moments we will suffer, and this will be a really interesting game to see how far we are, especially regarding out of possession.